If you're interested in tea, we have a great segment for you. I'm at Blooming Junction with Madeline. And Madeline, you really have this wide range of plants for us today. Yeah, we have all sorts of herbs here that can be used to make tea. Here we have Camilla sinensis, which is actually a true tea plant. This is what green tea, black tea, and oolong tea is made of. It's a green evergreen shrub that grows wonderfully in our region. But today we're mostly going to be talking about herbal tea. And we have so many different types of herbs here, many of which you probably already have in your garden. Um, we have chamomile, lavender, mint. These are classic herbs for tea. We also have sage and thyme. These you may think of more as savory culinary herbs, but these actually have beautiful, beautiful flavor profiles when steeped in hot water. They are wonderful when blended with other herbs for tea. So can you go over like the steps to make tea? I mean, I open a box and I get a tea bag. I don't always go to my garden and get fresh herbs. Yeah, so there are multiple ways to make tea. You can pick the leaves fresh and just drop them into your glass or into your pot and pour boiling water over them. You can also make cold sun tea by putting fresh herbs in a big jar and putting cold water in and leaving it in the sun for a few hours. That lets the flavors really slowly steep out. Um, you can also dry them, and there are also many ways to dry. You can bunch them and hang them. You can put them on a wire or bamboo mat. You can also put them in your dehydrator. Um, once they're dried, you can crunch them up and store them in an airtight container. Um, and then you can use something like a tea bomb here where you just put your dried tea in there. It's a wonderful and earth-friendly alternative to disposable tea bags. And then you just put this right in your cup, just like you would a normal tea bag. Um, you can also use a strainer here. If you don't have a tea bomb, it's a great way to just infuse your teas right in the hot water and then take it out. That is really so easy and I think we can all do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And then we have some other plants here that maybe they're in our garden, but they're in the ornamental section and we don't always use them just for a tea. Yeah, so these are some beautiful perennials, many of which are favorites here in the Pacific Northwest um, that are also have wonderful medicinal properties and delicious flavor profiles. Here we have lemon verbena, which is one of my favorites for its super sweet lemony flavor and scent. Um, this plant, you can use the leaves anytime, pick them off, and they have just a wonderful aromatic quality. We have echinacea here, and this plant is obviously a favorite for its beautiful blooms and long bloom time, but you can also use the entire plant, including the roots and the stems and the leaves, to make a great immune-boosting tea. And here we have lamb's ear, or stashis, which has wonderful health benefits as well, has a nice mild herbal flavor. And then of course, lemon balm, which is very prolific in the garden and has a beautiful lemon scent. You know, I, I'm so glad that I always learn something. And if we want to send people to your website or come out to the, to the garden center, what can we do? Yeah, so you can absolutely go to our website, bloomingjunction.com. Up at the top, there is a journal tab, and you can look at our journal entry all about our favorite herbal teas. You can also, from our website, subscribe to our newsletter, which has all sorts of information every week about our plants and our produce. And our upcoming newsletter will have a special segment on these herbal teas and how you can use them. Thank you so much for all the information. So if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv and you can click over to Blooming Junction. Happy Tea Day. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.